Hey everyone, it's Sam McKay here. Today we are going to run through how you can handle weekends and weekdays. So the key that the key function that we're going to utilize, and, and it's very applicable across lots of other scenarios where you find yourself in uh, that are similar to this, is the filter function. So the filter function inside of Calculate allows us to iterate through some logic uh, or it can be simple, can be very advanced, and then it evaluates. Um, so it can create a new context for our calculation, and then um, and then we can go and put some expression in to go do its work. Now, this is this particular example is quite common though, because you might want to calculate. Say we've we've got um, we, we've got the month and year context in here. We might want to calculate. Well, we want our sales, but I only want to calculate my sales in a weekend or during a week. Um, my sales during the week day. So how can we do it now? Obviously, the key thing is that this is this is a key example of where you've got to work DAX in with the data model. Um, and so if I just jump to the date table, I'll see what I've I'll tell I'll show you what I've done here. Just get this table working right. So what I've done is you've obviously first of all got to have day and week. There's nothing you, you can't get around that. You need to somehow work out well. Um, and and if, if you don't have this in your date table, I would probably try and get it in there with a calculated column. But I, I've I ultimately want to make the DAX as simple as possible at the back end. And so if I can sort it out, sort this out in the data model, I will. Now the key here is that we've obviously got this aligned to a day of the week, and then from that, from that we can actually derive well, is it a weekend or is it a weekday? And I've utilized this switch formula to actually achieve that. Now you probably could have done this slightly differently, but this is just how I've done it. I was able to whip this up pretty quickly if you think about it and all it's doing is it's working through all of the logic inside of this day and week column and actually returning well is it a weekday or is it a weekend as simple as that and then now what we can do is we can actually use this uh, this column this dimension now that we've created inside of our, our calculation to achieve or, or isolate if it's a weekday or if it's a weekend so let's run through an example of how you'd actually write your formula um, when you had that set up. So I'm going to go sales um, during for sales weekdays and then I'm just going to go calculate total sales because that's not going to change. We want to calculate total sales right we just want to put it inside of a different context and then I'm going to go filter and then I'm going to look to the dates table I'm going to say okay we'll go look at the dates table and filter everything for it's for the weekday. And then all I've got to go is week dates, weekend, weekday, which this is the new column which we've just created. And then I'm just going to put in weekday. And then I'm going to close that off. Then go enter. And then if I bring that in, you'll see that we get different results. And this is for the week. This is obviously only going to show us the weekdays. I'm just going to format it. And then from here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste this. And then I'm going to say weekends. And then place weekend here, just like that. It's very quick and format it and then drag it in there you go and so sales of weekdays and sales weekend that is going to give us um, the total sales it's going to add up to the total sales right and so can you see here how the logic so this is how we use filter really really effectively well we actually use it in combination with the data model if you think about it because we added this 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 dimension or this column what didn't exist until we added it based on some logic inside of that table and then we were able to put the filter function over the top of it but can you see how you could actually use this in any way you know any way shape or form so say we wanted to work out a saturday sales so all i'd have to do is um, I'll just go sales Saturday and then all I'd have to do is change the logic inside of here and say and then go day of week so we'll look here day of week and then just type in Saturday and then I'm just going to get my Saturday sales from this I'll just format it and then you could work out so there's lots of and then once you get to here you could actually you know you could branch out into a few other things you could say okay well how many um, Saturday sales so well, let's let's work it out so percent of sales on weekend so you could do something like this and then all you gotta do is, is jump from um, or branch out into this one by you only using your measures so I'm just gonna go sales on weekends divided by my total sales like so and then I just do a percentage and then you can drag that down like that. 
So that's pretty cool, right? So uh, that's a way that you can isolate certain elements in your data. We've, we've gone through a few steps there to actually um, get to the sales of weekdays, sales of weekends evaluation. But then it's cool how you can actually branch out even from there and you can um, work out percentage of the sales on, the, on, on your weekends, on your weekdays, on any day of the week, so on and so forth. So, so pretty powerful stuff and you can, you can achieve it pretty quickly. Okay, thanks for thanks for listening in on this one. If you want to download this um, this worksheet worksheet or this PBIX file, sorry, uh, along with all the other resources from Enterprise DNA TV, you certainly can. Uh, just requires a small investment. Check out the description. S- definitely subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV as well if you want to see some new, fresh Power BI content every weekday. Uh, and that's about it. I'm just going to wrap things up. All the best. Good luck with um, put, placing the, this sort of logic inside your models. Take care. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.